Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com, and it's time for part four of my tarot scope videos. Uh, so this video is going to go into the signs of Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. So our first sign is Capricorn. And if you are a Capricorn or you have a lot of Capricorn in your chart, this is going to be the message for you for the month of October. So our first card is going to be the past. Second card is what you're currently working on in the present. And the third card is your future card for the month of October. So for Capricorn, what's now passing for you? King of Pentacles. Uh, what you're learning in the present. Nine of Cups. And then your future card, or what's going to be up ahead for you that you need to keep in mind for October, is the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the first card, the Pastor Now Passing card for you, is the King of Pentacles. And this indicates that you've started to feel stable or secure. And it's so interesting, I, I hate to skip ahead, but we are seeing that Nine of Swords there. And the Nine of Swords can sometimes be a card of worrying or stressing out. And it's so funny. But a lot of times our greatest worries or our anxieties really start to creep in when we're the safest, when we're finally secure, when things are actually okay and we can actually process our emotions and feel them. And so I'm seeing a really wonderful last month for you where things are getting stabilized, things are getting secure. It could even indicate that finances have been improving or there's just been some stability. Uh, but the King of Pentacles just shows security. Your present card is saying that everything is set on the table for you to be successful at this time, that you can move forward and be confident that everything you've been working for is just for the taking. It's all available to you. The Nine of Cups is a card of wishes coming true. And so this could just be a period where you're really feeling like your dreams are coming true or something positive is happening. Now, that being said, we do have that Nine of Swords for the month of October. And this can be a stressful card. And the Nine of Swords has been called the worst card of the deck, not because a horrible thing's gonna happen to you in October, but because you have to be on guard for your perspective, how you're looking at events or how you're looking at things. Um, the Nine of Swords shows a man in his bed. He's waking up from a nightmare and he's got his eyes closed. He's stuck in his head. He's unable to see that he's actually safe. He's kind of overthrown his mind, worrying about the future, stressing out about what so-and-so going to do. And he's seen uh, nothing but the shadow in his mind. And he's forgetting that he's in his bed. He's safe. Even the sharp parts of the sword in the card are off the edge of the card. There's nothing that can hurt him except from within. And so when I see these very stable, positive cards, followed by the Nine of Swords, it could indicate that things have been stable up until now, but you really have to watch out for your perspective at this time. You really have to let your minds stay strong, and you really have to affirm or focus on the things that are going well. And then the last clue as to what is this stressful Nine of Swords about? Well, these are nines we're dealing with, Nine of Swords and Nine of Cups. And nines are numbers in the tarot and in numerology where you're just about to complete the 10 uh, cycle. You're about to go to 10 and one plus zero is one again and you begin again. So the nines can indicate endings or getting ready to finish something major. And so the anxiety could be surrounding a finishing of something. But the King of Pentacles in the past indicates you've done your work, you're stable, and the Nine of Cups in the present indicates that the table is set for success. The only thing that could be in your way is your own perspective. So watch where your thoughts are dwelling. All right, next uh, sign we're going into is Aquarius. So if you are an Aquarius or have a lot of Aquarius in your chart, this is the message for you for October. Past or now passing card, the Empress. Present card for Aquarius. That one flew out the Ace of Wands, and then the future card to keep in mind for the month of October for Aquarius is the Eight of Cups. So some pretty positive cards here. The Empress is indicating that you've been really nurturing yourself up into this point. You're focusing on growing something slowly but surely. Uh, and the Empress is using love as her greatest shield. She's really loving what she's uh, nurturing and caring about, and therefore it's growing. Uh, whenever we see the Empress, she's a very reassuring card. So it could indicate that you're really uh, coming out of a period where you've been abundant or where things are going well or you're getting some sort of positive feedback or you're starting to feel your confidence return. But it really just says that there's been some comfort or security. 
That being said, right now it's indicating that there's new ideas and no surprise for Aquarius, they are the visionaries of the Zodiac. They are always 10 pages ahead of everybody else and they're always seeing the future, which can be a little frustrating for them because if they look at their present life, it doesn't always match up to where their imagination is at or what future thing they're seeing themselves as later on. And so in the case of the Ace of Wands, this could be a very visionary time for you where you're getting ideas of new ideas, new things. Uh, but the Ace of Wands is kind of the starting card. It's indicating that things are still just branching out. And so uh, this could indicate that you want to take your time or be deliberative before just jumping into new things. Or you might just want to be patient like the Empress in her garden and let things grow a little bit more slowly. There's going to feel like there's a sense of urgency that you need to move on your ambition. Uh, but with that Empress card, it does seem to be slow and deliberative. And then it's followed by that Eight of Cups, uh, which is also a card that says it's important to stop and really get something important in the present uh, before you're able to proceed. What you need to keep in mind for the month of October is that this is a time of soul searching for you. Uh, the Eight of Cups is sometimes a card that indicates that you need to turn inward at this time. The Ace of Wands is very outwardly directed. It's an external card, and it could indicate that you're focusing on goals that are outside of yourself, outside of your heart and mind. The Eight of Cups is saying that before you're able to proceed with that goal, before you're able to really cash in on it or be successful with it, you need to go within. There needs to be a little bit of soul searching or you need to come to terms with something emotionally before you're able to progress. The Eight of Cups is showing that eclipse in the card, which is showing the moon blocking out the sun. And that means your inner needs, your instincts need to take precedence at this time over your image or external things that you're really trying to launch. Those things externally are growing beautifully and they are uh, being assured that way by the Empress card. Uh, but this might be a time where you're really starting to get in touch with your deeper feelings. And Aquarius is known as a rather cerebral sign. So sometimes they have to consciously make time to go in and look at their emotions or feelings. If you don't, if you neglect them, uh, the Eight of Cups can sometimes make you feel crazy or make you feel like things are off or even feel unlucky. So that's why it's important to get in touch with that at this time. And then finally, the last sign of the Zodiac we're going to go through is the sign of Pisces. So if you are a Pisces or have a lot of Pisces in your chart, uh, this is going to be the message for you. Our first card is what's now passing. The second card is what you're presently working on. Oh, and one flipped over here, Three of Cups. And then the third card is what is ahead in the future. And that is the Three of Pentacles. So two threes, uh, actually three threes, wow. All right, so threes are numbers of joy, expression of living, uh, moving forward, and also uh, uh, some sort of thing to get excited about. And when we have the uh, three of swords in the past are now passing, this has been a time of forgiveness, healing your heart, overcoming a wound, uh, letting go of something painful. Uh, sometimes it's a card of traumatic happenings or difficulties or challenges. And now we're getting into three of cups energy, which is all about letting your charisma shine again, connecting with others, and really just taking charge of your life through letting yourself socialize and relax and just enjoy. Uh, the Three of Cups shows the three graces from Greek mythology, and they're the goddesses who give the gift of charisma. And so when I see the Three of Cups following the Three of Swords, this could just be a time for Pisces where you're coming out of the shadows and you're starting to feel confident again. You're starting to feel like you're shining a little bit more. You're getting a little bit more attention. Uh, and this could be a positive time to open your heart again, flirt a little bit, uh, let romance happen, or at least socialize. Um, this is going to be a time of allowing joy to come in and take the place of the swords that were in the heart. Uh, whatever hole was left behind there, uh, Three of Cups is saying pour some joy into that empty spot. And then the future card is the Three of Pentacles. So for the month of October, this is a time of learning, uh, but especially learning about really practical things. So it could be a time where you're making plans for the future. You can see that the monks in the monastery have these plans in their hand, and the builder is building what's on the plan. And so this could just be a time when you're really starting to build something new or to create something different in your life, and it's requiring your confidence at this time. All three of the threes here are indicating that the next three weeks are probably going to be aiming towards something pretty positive for you where you've really shifted the energy. So this could be really coming to full culmination in the third week of October. 
So that is this month's tarot scopes. I do hope you all enjoyed it. And if you do, uh, I hope you go to elliotoracle.com and consider scheduling a session with me. The mini readings we're doing are so much fun, but they're nothing compared to a one-on-one -on -one session that goes into all of your cares and concerns. I hope you have a great October.